Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, scattered showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow, but it's not raining and thundering every single hour of the day. There'll be some lulls, but the chance is there both morning and again into the uh, early afternoon. Let's set the stage with a lot of humidity tonight, a summer-like humidity, and that is leading to some fog. We can take you to uh, New Bedford where, you know, visibility is down a little bit, but more so down in, I know, Block Island and, and Newport have visibility down to a quarter of a mile right now, and that fog will continue to overspread the south shore, and you can see some of that, uh, that fog bank off in the distance uh, in New Bedford. Right now, temperatures that are in the upper 60s to lower 70s, currently 71 in Providence, looking at uh, Bristol at 69, as well as New Bedford. As we take a look at our threat tracker for this evening and overnight, generally low, just be mindful of some of that reduced visibility south shore. But we're in a weather alert for Tuesday scattered showers likely, isolated thunderstorms likely, but the concern is that some not all, but some thunderstorms could be strong to borderline severe with some hail and some damaging wind, both tomorrow morning up until early afternoon and then another chance by tomorrow evening. Wednesday looks spectacular, dry and sunny. So relatively quiet across New England. The system that we're watching for tomorrow, uh, an area of low, pro well, first of all, I want to show you the humidity. These dark greens up and down the East Coast indicate high dew points and very humid conditions. So the humidity and the moisture is in the air to fuel some of these showers and some thunderstorms. And the uh, Severe Storms Prediction Center has our area shaded in light green, which is a marginal risk that some storms may be severe. Uh, some damaging wind gusts, some small hail, and even the low risk of an isolated tornado. Now, we don't say that too often. The risk is there. It's quite low, but it is something that we'll have to watch very closely, especially early to mid-morning. You really want to check in with Michelle tomorrow morning as well as some of these storms are starting to fire up around mid-morning. Here's the breakdown hour by hour. So overnight tonight, low clouds and some fog. But watch how things start to light up by tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. showers. Now the red and yellows are your downpours and thunderstorms. And there you go. Uh, the, our computer guidance seems to be favoring southern areas in the south shore, but all locations have this risk. This is uh, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. And what we'll watch to see if any of these storms have any rotation within them. Sometimes that can be a tip off of a water spout or an isolated tornado. Again, the risk is small, but it's there. Noontime, still looking at some scattered storms. They're pulling away, so we get into a bit of a lull, a mid to late afternoon becoming partly sunny, and then the approach of a cold front tomorrow evening around 8 o'clock with a quick passing shower or thunderstorm. Then the whole thing is out of here later tomorrow night. So be weather aware, both tomorrow morning, scattered showers and storms, temperatures in the 70s, humid through at least the, the early afternoon hours, get into a bit of a lull late day, and then another round by uh, early evening. Boaters really need to be mindful of just kind of common sense stuff here, that some of these storms, both morning and afternoon, outside of any thunder, the wind is south at 5 to 10, but in a thunderstorm, obviously much, much stronger. Then look at the stretch of weather starting Wednesday into the end of the week and the weekend. Dry, sunny, less humid, much cooler towards Thursday and Friday. Early call on the weekend is looking pretty nice both Saturday and Sunday. Mike and Shannon.